Hi everyone! I'm at the horses like almost every day for the moment. Um, as you know, the coronavirus is still going on there. Many of you probably are in self isolation. Countries are in lockdown. I'm one of the lucky countries that is not yet in lockdown. So I'm still allowed to go to the horses. Uh, I don't know how much longer this whole thing is gonna, out, gonna go on for. I know we are probably going into lockdown either today or in the coming week. So when this video is online, I either will be already on in lockdown or I will be about to go into lockdown. The good thing is I'm in this, like my job is an essential service, so I still will go to work which is great because otherwise I would go insane 14 days at home, not going out here. I have my dog to keep me occupied, um, but obviously being at home the whole time is not very great. Hello, Duke! So, I'm um, today the horses and I thought before I have to go into lockdown, I might film a quick video. I've planned to do some cavalletti work today, so I've, I thought why not giving you some cavalletti ideas. If you have access to your horse and in the same situ situation as me, I don't have access to my trainer. My trainer is interstate, states are, the borders are closed, so my trainer can't come down here at the moment. I don't have a trainer, I haven't had a lesson in, I think, at least a month and probably even longer actually because, yeah, probably even almost two months. Hey Pony! So yeah, I haven't had a lesson in two months. I've been making up my own stuff, working on what my trainer always taught me to. So I thought I'd do some cavalletti work since that's something different. I do it every now and then to keep Dougal's brain into the work and keep him excited about working. I haven't done it in the last probably three weeks or so, so he, it will be hard for him to do all those exercises that I'm going to show you guys today. I will give my best to not exceed four poles. Sorry, I can't do it with my left hand. Trying to not exceed four poles. Anybody else have this issue? Four poles, Cavaletti, in different exercises for walk, trot and canter. And I will see you taking up and getting ready and then in the arena. In case Dougal wants to say hello. Will you say hello? So I hope Dougal doesn't do anything because I'm just filming on top of my horse. So I've set up the first cabinetti, just, just there. It's a, it's a walk cavaletti. Um, if your horse knows cavaletti, you can set up four right away, or five or six, however you want. If you, your horse, if your horse does not know cavaletti yet. It's best to start with two poles, get over them, then three, then four, and then you can add as many as you want. So the poles for the war cavaletti should be 70 to 80 centimeters apart, depending on your horse's natural stride. For Dougal it is roughly, I'm pretty sure, just under 80, because in a walk he does stride quite wide every night, like when he's working properly. Yes, so we better get started. This is our first exercise of many. The other thing I should mention is never do all these exercises I show you in one day. It's just too much. You can grab a couple of them, set them up in your arena so you don't have to get on and off the whole time. Or if you have a helper, that's awesome too. But you should not do all of them in one go. I'm just going to do it to show you guys all the exercises that I do with him and once we're done with showing you all the exercises I might set up something I felt like hmm we should work on that one and then we're gonna work on that for the rest of my session yes so we better get started hey Ok, 
Okay, so exercise number two is ready. I don't know if you noticed with exercise number one, Duga kept drifting to my right, so I had to correct that. So that's something you work on definitely. It also gives you always good feedback. And one thing I remember to, that I forgot to tell you is when you do Cavaletti, you should always try to have a contact to your horse. But you allow your horse to stretch down if he wants to. If you have Cavaletti like we do here, where we had a race a bit off the ground, that's awesome, that's perfect. But unfortunately, we only have three of them. So if exercise with four Cavalettis, I can't do with them because I can't have three Cavalettis up and one down. So I'm just doing with poles on the ground, which can be just normal jumping poles. So I'm just going to show you exercise number two. It's a square and you do a butterfly through them. The idea is you always hit the middle when you go through it. Then you turn left or right and then you go through the middle and so on and so on. So it's like a butterfly. Get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? To when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? Alright, exercise three. You do a seven time over several powers. In our case four. So I have four poles. I have four poles attached to each other. And the idea is you always hit the middle and go over them in a serpentine. Also in a walk. I'll just show you. Can I take you there? Exercise three. Um, we're coming to the trot exercises, and this one has four poles, three in the normal straight distance, and the fourth is a little bit further away. About um, two poles would fit in to the middle. That's what it looks like, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like riding it. It's a trot exercise, and the idea is in the space where no poles is. He should maintain his rhythm so he hits the fourth pole easily. You will see how that works. Always falling for the wrong guys. They keep telling me it's alright. How could I be so blind? I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? All right, next exercise. The last short exercise um, is a red, red angle. <laughs> it's a right angle, um, two poles, right angle, and you do like a figure of eight through them. Um, hard to say. Also, I set up the canter poles already. Canter poles are just two poles to start with. Um, you can obviously add on more poles as you go. But because Duga is pretty crap at canter poles, I thought we'd start with two and on the ground.
as you could probably say, that one was pretty crap with Dougal. So that's one I have to work on. We're not very good at doing small circuits, to be honest. We never do them. So definitely something to work on. Let's see what our candle looks like. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? So that one as well, I think everybody could see, um, we need to work on. Could just be because we're both exhausted now and it's a hard exercise in the canter. Well, it could literally be because we have to work on it. I just noticed though, with those exercises that I did now, he is a lot more through, a lot more wanting to work. So if you have access to your horse and can work them in the quarantine, do some pole work, it's awesome. Horses enjoy it. It's hard for us riders, I admit. But yeah, it's good fun. And if you can pop a jump in between, that's even more fun, just for the sake of it. Little jump, 40 centimeters. Not much work for you or the horse. All right, that's it for the video today. Um, I, I won't be able to cut today. I hope I can cut tomorrow. I have to work today. And then we see what happens. whole coronavirus thing is over soon. See you later from Duga and me. <laughs> Take you there, like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there?